What's going on, Chimera Kingdom? Welcome to the first Silver Stories. In SS, we get to talk about <clears throat> the different terminology and other things in the Silvers that may need to be explained. Um, things that, as the reader, you may not know about because since I'm the writer and the creator, I will know more about it. So in Silver Stories, we're gonna go a little more in depth into those things. Um, so, like I said, this is our first. And in this one, we're gonna talk about the silvers, what it is, what it means, and what you should expect from it as we continue to build this amazing comic book universe. So uh, sit back, relax, get ready for episode one, and we're gonna go ahead and get it started. Silvers, it's a short name for Sovereign Comics, um, but you know, let's get more in depth into it. Sovereign Comics is an interconnected universe, one that tells different tales spread across the entire universe through different titles, through different characters, um, through different events. Um, and all of this stuff just follows all of these different characters, good and evil, through their lives you know, as they go about their daily lives. <laughs> like DC, Marvel, that stuff, but my own. Um, so yeah, it's a world where there's superheroes, where there's supervillains, um, there's space-faring bounty hunters, teams with superpowers, rock stars with superpowers. Um, so many different things you're gonna see. There's even horror elements as the world continues to grow that's gonna start coming in to everything. Um, but first we're gonna dive more into the uh, superhero mantle of the universe um and while the silvers has heroes in the generic definition of the term um most of our heroes don't really fall into the the, the hero idea um of what it is what i mean by that is uh cypher team so cypher team they are a superpower special operations unit and Cypher Team, there are multiple teams. One thing I want you to keep in mind is that Super Powered Special Operations part, um, since they are special operations, they are part of a government and in turn part of a military. Um, that government is called a mandala. Um, and when Cypher Team is sent into something, they aren't sent in with the strict notion of bringing the villain back. Sometimes that may be the order, and sometimes the order may be to take the villain out. Um, I mention this because as folks read these stories, and as these stories continue to build, if you see a character kill one, you know. So it won't be like, hey, this character doesn't do that. Kunoichi doesn't kill people. Kunoichi is an assassin, yes she does, she kills people. So that is the thing to understand about Cypher Team. Will they save or not save? Say, say. Will they arrest the villain? Yes. Will they kill the villain? Double yes. <laughs> so that's something to um, 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 to keep in mind. Um, but with all of that being said, there are titles where you will get that more heroic feel of things. One of those titles that are out, that's out now is called Stars. So stars they're a group of all-female heroes all women um but they also double as a rock band so in this title they're trying to live their life and see you know pretty much come up with like figure out how they're gonna balance rock star life and hero life you know it's it's kind of gonna be hard you know but in that same vein they're not about killing they would be the type to try to arrest the villain or talk the villain down. This doesn't mean that they're not gonna put hands on the villain if they need to, because they will. They most definitely will put hands on the villain, especially considering that there's multiple members of the team who are trained in martial arts. Like one of them, her father is a former Marine and owns a, a protection agency as well as a mixed martial arts dojo. So he pretty much trained her from youth up on how to fight 
And then there's another one who is an alien and she has the genetic knowledge of her people. And with that come different martial arts styles that her people have done. So both of them, they're the top fighters of the team, but the rest of the girls can fight also. Another title would be Temple High. Um, Temple High just follows the, the, the children, the future of the Soros, as, as I like to say. Um, and with that, since there are kids, you aren't going to see too much killing. Notice I say you aren't going to see too much killing. That doesn't mean that it may not happen. However, that's not what's, that's not the first thing that comes to their mind. If they have to come across a villain, which they will come across villains, and they will have to make choices on what is it that they will do with these villains. So there's that, the hero side of things, Cypher Team Stars and Temple High. <clears throat> so there's also another title, Yamo Stigmata, that is out now that's been published. They're bounty hunters. They're in space. You will see a lot of death in that. <laughs> um, it's gonna happen. Since they are bounty hunters, they aren't, they're most definitely not heroes, but they may do some heroic things here and there. Like with the arc that I'm working on right now, issue one and issue two are out. And the arc that I'm working on right now, they're gonna do some heroic things in there. So now we're gonna move on to the makeup of the Silvers or Sovereign Comics. In that, we have multiple ecosystems in the Silvers or galaxies, if you wanna call it that. Um, and these different galaxies are, you have Sovereign Orange, which is our main staple. That's the one where these stories that I just mentioned, they're part of Sovereign Orange. You have Sovereign Black, which is gonna be more more gritty type title. Sovereign Cub, which is gonna be early literacy titles. Sovereign Mangaka explains it all. So it's gonna be where our manga comes out of. And Sovereign One is gonna be where we sometimes invite writers on if they wanna write a story for Sovereign Comics, but they don't want it to be part of the main stable that is where they will go. Even myself, if I wanna write a story that is not part of the main stable, that's where it's gonna go. To go a little bit more in depth, as we go back to Sovereign Orange, since those are the ones that are published now, this comic follows the main Cypher Team. So Cypher Team Alpha is who it follows. Cypher Team Alpha, they were reactivated to stop a riot that got out of hand. Um, this riot was caused by a Zenith hate group. Zenith is what I call Pretty much is the catch-all for everyone in the Silvers that has powers. I have a short on that, so if you want to check that out, you can get a little bit more information on that. Um, but this Zenith hate crew, Protectors of Mankind, they pretty much started a riot, attacking the individuals who were registering themselves for the, with their powers and everything for, to the government. And because of this, Cypher Team as a whole was reactivated. Um, Cypher Team Alpha was sent to stop the riot, but also sent to fight the angels of anarchy who are kind of hanging out in the wings ready to strike when things are at their most you know when people are least suspecting it the way to think of cypher team is think of them like seal team like like this um navy seals so there's multiple teams that's how cypher team operates there's multiple teams each team has their either their own region or their own specific job that they do so there's to name a few that you're gonna see, you have Cypher Team Torrent, who pops up in the Cypher Team comics. You also have Cypher Team Sigma, who the members of that team are actually in the Temple High comics, and you're gonna have Cypher Team Sphinx, and so many more that are coming, that are on the way. But yeah, that is the Silver Sun Hole. There's a lot going on, but I wanna keep this at 10 minutes. If you wanna know more, prepare for more videos that are on the way. Because I got a lot to talk about. I got a lot more stuff to explain. A lot of the stuff I'm going to be explaining are some of the shorts that I've already done. And in those shorts, I just barely graze, you know, the tip as far as what I talked about in there. It's just 60 seconds. But I'm going to go more in depth. So as we continue to build, I will continue to explain. I hope that you continue to watch. I hope that you ask questions. And... I hope that you're ready to learn more about Sovereign Comics and the 
silvers. So um, thank you and take it easy, folks. <laughs> <laughs>